happened. I was going to give you another shot of uh, crossing the Mississippi. The last time we did that was going west down in New Orleans. And, uh, but the camera decided not to work. So, anyway, we're now in Illinois and headed to a uh, historic site. I'll show you that in a sec. So we got another state here. Add Illinois to the pile. There we go. Another state. A couple more. And I'll have done a, a whole circle. Although, I am going to take a little side trip. Well, good morning, YouTube. Well, today I'm in Galena, Illinois. Um, this is the uh, hometown of Ulysses S. Grant. We're going to go up and uh, check out his house up there. Um, this cabin behind me uh, was built in uh, the late 1800s, but it was it wasn't on this site they moved it here but it was um lived in until 1971 so somebody was living in that when i was still in high school uh it's only got two rooms one room downstairs warm by the stove uh one room upstairs the bedroom which was warm by the chimney so um pretty cool so uh galena was actually founded in um early 1820s um, that it was uh, it grew rapidly in uh, 23 1823 1824 because of the the uh, lead mines and um, the uh, used to be called the fever river now it's called the Galena River uh, at that time was a major supply uh, route so is uh, what usually happens to me is uh, this the house is open from Wednesday till Sunday. It's closed on Monday and Tuesday. Guess what? Today is Tuesday. We're still going to go up and take a look, peek at it anyway. So Ulysses moved here in uh, 1860 to work in his father's leather shop. Uh, 1861, he was still an obscure clerk and he marched off to the Civil War and uh, by the end of it of course you all know he was the uh, commander of the Union forces and uh, after a series of disastrous generals so get up here and we'll take a peek well that's his uh, his place and it was given to him by the people of Galena uh, when he came back from the war. He was their, probably their most famous uh, resident. So he went on to become the 18th president of the United States. So, but uh, one of the things that, that always struck me as odd is uh, he, um, appointed a uh, friend of his from here, uh, Eli Parker, as the head of Indian Affairs. Now, Eli was a Native American, but the policies uh, of Grant towards Native Americans was not what you might call beneficial. So, so the view from Grant's front lawn probably looked a lot like this. There probably wasn't a whole lot of things other than the houses right here in the foreground that have changed. I'm sure he was still, he was looking at those church spires and whatever the big building is over there. So, pretty sweet spot. So, down somewhere in town in the park, there's a statue uh, commemorating this is S. Grant. Um, but in 2004, 
They decided they needed one up here for uh, Julia Dent Grant, who was his first lady from 1869 to uh, 1877, it says. So, she, uh, he died at the age of 63 from throat cancer. Um, might have been the cigars, maybe the whiskey, maybe both. Um, she lived to be a hundred or till uh, 1902. So, pretty cool house, and uh, I'm guessing that's a kitchen wing here on the back. It's well, that uh, ends my attempted visit to uh, this is S. Grant's place, and uh, as happens, you know, they're closed on two days a week, and I'm here on one of them, but still a pretty nice house. I'd live there. <laughs> See you later, YouTube.